Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Very special lady back with us today, friend of American Truth Project, and one of the smartest people you'll ever listen to is Claire Lopez. Claire is um, formerly with the Central Intelligence Agency, has served the United States government both overseas and domestically for many years, and she has some amazing insights on what's going on today in America. Welcome back, Claire. Thanks, Barry. Always glad to come back on with you. Remind me at the end of our segment today to remind people where to come find you. But in the meantime, let's get started. So we are in the midst of a post-election, I guess you'd call it semi-riot. Uh, the right says the, the uh, election was stolen. The left says, uh, let's just move on and make Biden the president. And don't look over there because that really wasn't voter fraud or uh, manipulation or um, illegalities in dozens of states. Some people call it an American coup. Uh, did America just experience a coup of sorts? Well, you know, Barry, I very often tend to take a step back a little bit and look at things from a, a broader perspective. And in that sense, I would say, yes, absolutely. Uh, America is at a very critical turning point. Uh, this is an attempted coup d'etat by the communist enemies of our republic. Uh, and they are taking aim not just at Donald Trump, the Republican Party, uh, or even our electoral system, but, but our constitution itself, the system of our constitutional republic itself. And they think now with the chaos of this year, uh, the China virus, uh, and then the electoral chaos, that they have, that they, the communist, Marxist, Leninist, Maoist enemies of this country have a chance um, to, to succeed and to topple our republic um, and uh, our, our, uh, our constitution. All right, so to be very clear, there is, contrary to what the mainstream media says, there's not an absence of any proof. There's a dump truck full of proof of shenanigans that went on in all the swing states and probably others as well, but I'm referring mostly, at least in a primary sense, to Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan. Um, is it your theory, uh, based on your research, Claire, that communist China is behind the shenanigans um, the recasting of ballots, the miscounting, the Dominion software, and so on? I would say that the Communist Party of China is behind a great deal of it, um, but, but more importantly, behind the overall uh, movement coup d'etat attempt. Um, yes, a good thing that these states like Arizona and Georgia and Pennsylvania and Michigan held um, these legislative uh, hearings that they did where all of these witnesses, ordinary everyday Americans, putting their, uh, their credibility, their, their names um, to sworn affidavits of the things they witnessed in um, this election. Um, those are evidence. Th those, those are things that are legally evidence in a court of law showing the massive fraud and cheating. But you know, every day that goes by, we're hearing more. Um, and for example, um, most recently, um, how Dominion Voting Systems itself may have a financial connection to the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah, I heard the same thing. And maybe through a several different investment funds is the largest owner uh, through, well, offshore companies where you're, it's very hard to see where the money came from. But that allegation is now uh, catching up uh, and getting some steam. So it's not just uh, the last few months, Claire, your theory is it's been going on since the 60s at least, yeah? Yes, it has. And um, obviously, I mean, if we really want to go back, we go to the 1800s, Hegel and Marx, the Communist Manifesto, come on up to 1917 and the Russian Revolution. Um, and, and from that point onwards, the concerted effort by the forces of communism and Marxism, Leninism later, Maoism to export uh, that revolution worldwide. 
and, and they've taken direct aim at the United States. Why the United States? Well, because um, as, as Ronald Reagan has said, we're the last best hope for mankind on earth, the place where opportunity, individual liberty, rule of law before the constitution um, gives everybody the chance to, to succeed. And so that cannot be um, part of a global globalist um, strategy plan for, for establishment imposition of a communist tyrannical central government authority. They have to take us down. And the effort's been going on, yes, since uh, the 20th century. So what changed in this election that made the door open enough for them to get in? Well, I think um, as, as we've seen in, in earlier um, chaos and, and, and uh, turmoil inside of countries, uh, Germany, the interwar period of the 20th century, um, you know, come on up to, uh, you know, the 1960s, and we can talk some more about that period here in the United States. And of course, now, um, with the release, with the deliberate release and spread of what Epoch Times calls the CCP virus, uh, the coronavirus, um, which definitely came out of China, very likely came out of Chinese biological weapons laboratories, perhaps plural, um, that chaos and then the ensuing grabs for power across the United States by tyrannical mayors and governors and local officials uh, that has devastated our economy, um, set the middle class totally back on its heels. Um, that kind of turmoil does offer historically and again now this kind of an opportunity for revolutionary uh, communist um, forces to, to, to make an attempt, to make an attempted coup d'etat, which is what they're doing. So would you say, you know, we've got these governors, um, it's a lengthy list of this cockamamie stuff that they're pronouncing every day, all illegal, all as executive orders on a state by state basis, you know, slowly but surely the courts are finding against them. Uh, Gavin Newsom shuts down the state of California, you can't go out to dinner, what does he do? He goes out to a five hundred dollar a plate mm. dinner. Uh, Wisconsin, the same thing. Minnesota, uh, the same thing. Michigan, uh, New York, and so on. Are these governors um, dupes? Do they not know any better, or are they are they part of the conspiracy as you see things? I think a good number of them are part of the conspiracy. A, a good number of them, like Gavin Newsom, um, you know, like uh, Cuomo in New York, uh, De Blasio in New York City. Um, and others are bona fide Marxists. I mean, that is their training, that is their, uh, their ideological bent. Um, others are dupes, yes, useful fools, but they have the tyrannical impulse um, that is integral to, to Marxism, Leninism, and, and uh, communism. Um, and, and that is the tyrannical grab you're seeing. But my, my hope really is watching the response of the American people after all of these months. You know, we tried to be good patriots, tried to follow, you know, what we thought would help to, to curb the spread of this virus. Uh, but after all these months, people are seeing that that tumult, that chaos has just given opportunity to these petty tyrants. And Gavin Newsom, by the way, now um, is being subjected to a recall effort. It's gathering steam from what I read. Yeah, so is um, Whitmer in Michigan. Absolutely. And also there. And in other places, um, uh, owners of, of small businesses like restaurant owners, for example, in New York, also in Pennsylvania here, are simply fed up. They've had it up to here and they are going to open hundreds of them. Uh, never mind um, shut down orders. Exactly. Claire, where can people find you and, and follow you? Well, I unfortunately still do not have a website. So um, I post my writing uh, and videos like this one, uh, certainly at American Truth Project, also the United West and Sharia Crime Stoppers. I'm also a founding member and I post at the Citizens Commission on National Security. And I have a blog site at Newsmax uh, where I'll shortly have another new post out on Turkey. And then finally, I am on social media. 
at Claire M. Lopez on Twitter, on Parlay, and by name also Claire M. Lopez on Facebook. And, and sometimes you sleep, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Claire. I really appreciate it. And thank you out there uh, for joining us on ATP Report. Remember, please subscribe on your cell phone to our text message alert system simply by texting the message truth t-r-u-t-h and send it to this number 88202 push send you're automatically signed up you'll get all of our stuff for free right on the cell phone in the palm of your hand for atp report i'm barry newsbaum <laughs>